What is up guys, once again Legacy here bringing you guys another amazing gameplay slash commentary here from MW3. Today guys, as you guys can read in the title, this is about slutty girls on the Xbox Live slash PSN. And for you horny gamers, calm down, this is more of a, you should say, informative video than detailed. I'm not a perverted gamer, so I'm not going to go on and talk about how much they can do all kinds of stuff. No, no. This is just to point out some of the stuff that I guess you could say some of them do during games and parties and all kinds of stuff. And I guess I'm going to bring out a little, I guess a real life thing that happened. A little bit of a story, so story time. Everybody get in a circle and get ready for a story. But first, let's talk about this gameplay and a little bit of an update. This gameplay, guys, I go 34-0, and 0, get an MOAB on C-Town, kill confirmed, obviously, using the suppressor with, well, uh, obviously I'm using the ACR with suppressor, jeez, cannot talk, apologize, it's almost midnight. And guys, using specialists, obviously, I don't know who doesn't use specialists to get an MOAB, a couple people use assault, but usually it's a specialist. But anyway, guys, today, as you guys can read on the title, this is about Slutty Girls on Xbox Live and PSN. What I mean by this, guys, is that these girls go on Xbox or PSN, they put in their client tag, girl. We don't care, you're a girl, okay? And most of them start chatting guys up, they start talking, they need to get attention. And I, f I feel bad for some of these girls, because most of them are unaccepted in real life, they go to high school, and they're the most hated girls, but they go on Xbox Live and they're looking for attention. I do feel bad for them, but they're slutty, and I don't. Some at the same time, I don't feel bad for them. And then you start talking to some of them. Like I'll talk, I'll say, it. I enjoy their company maybe for a match or two, but when they want to add me as a friend and start talking, and then, and then all kinds of other crap. I'm just like, no, no, no. <laughs> it crosses the line. Honestly, I keep my love life and all kinds of crap in, I guess you should say, the real world. I don't do uh, online crap. Honestly, I went to a website. I think some of you guys may be, well, the younger audience may be familiar with this, Mies.com. Well, I, I was actually recommended from my friend. I just went on there to check it out, and I went in there. I was just like, damn, I was there's some music and stuff. It's like, a, I guess you could say, a virtual world for teens, whatever. I went in there. It was actually pretty okay. It was, it was okay, and then I started chatting with some, I guess you say, woman or whatever. They're about my age, and they start asking me out. I'm like, hell no, I'm just here to party and listen some good music and chat with people. And that's what I mean. The girls on Xbox do the exact same thing, and PSN. They just, they just non-stop. They don't, don't shut up. They, like, ask you out and stuff. Honestly, some of you guys do take advantage of them. You're like, hell yeah. And that's how you guys land your Xbox Live girlfriends. And I'm, you know, I don't go down that lane. Honestly, I've met one girl. She's actually... I'll say she was actually really nice. I still talk to her today. We don't go out. I'm not. It's not that weird. Yeah, we're just good friends, I guess you could say. Because honestly, I just find it completely weird in a way to ha go out with somebody on Xbox Live and say, "Hey man, guess what? You want to come see my Xbox Live girlfriend? Hell yeah!" Or your PSN girlfriend? Yeah, that's just not right to me. But some of you guys can disagree. You guys. Um, I guess you guys could say you guys enjoy doing that. I don't know. I guess you guys play a place. I like to keep it at one moment. I'm not a cheater. I'm not, I guess you should say, douchebag, even though I've done douchebag things. And this story, guys, you could say, I kind of will look like a douchebag because I do feel sorry for what I did. But let's get quickly on what the story that I've been talking about for a lot, but I haven't even said. Whatever. Anyway, guys, this is a while ago, maybe four or five, six, I don't know, maybe even a year ago. I was originally like FWG, like, so I used to be in clans and stuff. I made my own clan, it was a community. And this girl, she joined the clan. We talked a bit, maybe for a couple weeks. And she was maybe a couple of years younger than me. I think I was, yeah, I'm 15. So she was, I think, maybe 13 or 14, something around there. I talked with her. She was nice and all kinds of stuff. I just played the game. I, honestly, that's all I did. And she started hitting me up with invites a lot. Like, I was like, okay, calm down. But it, it was okay. Sorry, a little bit of um, thunder in my ear. That's why I kind of cut out there. I was like, what the hell? Sorry, let's get back on the story. I apologize about that. And, oh shit, I forgot where I was. Anyway, in the story, basically, 
she's in my clan. We're just, we play daily, I guess you could say. We hit each other up in the morning and stuff. I talked with her once in a while. I was cool with her. And then what crossed the line was that then she started talking dirty and stuff. I was like, oh, okay. Um, I get enough of this from my girlfriend. I don't need to do this stuff with her. And basically, I told her to calm it down. And then she started asking me out. I, I was like, well, I already have a girlfriend. She's like, I don't care. I'm like, oh, my God. And you know what I had to do? I had to be a douchebag. Honestly, I don't like being douchebag, but sometimes you have to. I guess you could say hit them in the face uh, where it matters. I don't know. I don't even know how to describe this. But basically what I did was I gathered a couple of my friends. I told them about what's going on. And they basically I told them that they're basically hackers. I got her into a party. I invited her. And I said that she was going to be hacked. And basically they gang banged her with words. They just kept on taunting her and stuff. I didn't want to defend her because... I don't know, I was being a douchebag, but I just don't like slutty girls on Xbox Live, and she's 13 years old talking dirty to me, and the the thing that set me off was that before that, I talked to her maybe a couple, maybe a couple hour, maybe a couple days before that, and I actually got into her parties, and she's talking dirty with other guys and stuff, I was like, whoa, okay, this girl's crazy slutty. But you guys can get what the point out of this is. I know most of you guys thought this was going to be more detailed, but this is just more of an informative video. Basically telling you guys what girls are on Xbox Live and PSN. Some of them, I feel bad for them because there are girls who just want to get out there and game, but girls like this one have to go out there and ruin it for everyone else. So basically when you guys go into the lobby, you just want to chat with, I guess you say guys, you don't want to do any connections or any weird things like that. And they and the other girls, they ruin it for you, I guess you could say. And I really do feel bad for you guys. Anyway, guys, tell me what you guys think of this video. Tell me what you guys think of Girl Gamers, period. And if you are a girl gamer, tell me what you think. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe for more content. Peace out. What's up guys, Legacy here, I, you guys already watched this commentary, it's a pretty old commentary I did a while ago, just wanted to throw it up because it was a really nice video that I did on my other channel, so hopefully you did enjoy it, but I just really wanted to, uh, I guess you make this ending point for, I guess, two updates basically. One is the subscriber of the week, I wanted to get it out there, Mr. Excessive Gamer, thank you man so much, and you are the subscriber of the week, guys, There's a, um, there should be something on the screen right now, subscriber of the week, just click right there, he's got a great channel, new commentator, like myself, he's got a great channel, really underrated, go check him out. And another thing that I wanted to announce is the community channel, It I have decided on it, and it will be, I guess, made. It's going to be called Cod Rage. It's already been run. It was my friend's old channel, but it's got some good views and stuff. So we're going to start on that channel. I think it already has partnership on the way. I don't know. But me and Buddy Bun HD will be running it. It's going to go somewhere, guys. We'll be talking more about that in the future. But just want to say to you guys, thank you for following me. It's It means a lot, guys. Anyway, I am out, guys. I'm not going to take up any more of your time. So see you guys later.